Hey, Lonnie King here with Ontario Doors Magazine. Hey, we're on location once again, and we've got... Well, we couldn't ask for anything more. We've got a beautiful sunny day. You can see I don't even have gloves on. And best of all, we're out here and we're catching fish. I'm fishing with Oliver Bebo, and together we're going to talk a little bit about whitefish tactics. I guess, to put whitefish in perspective, I really think it's one of those fish that's a, a bit of a growth industry. More and more people, with, armed with the right electronics, you know, hydrographic charts to find the hot spots, together, more and more people are figuring out how to fish for whitefish, and we're going to share with you some of our perspectives on, on how we do it. Alright, so what we're doing right now, basically just uh, fishing the base of a drop right now in about uh, 42 feet of water. And it's about 80 feet just off and about uh, 30 to 35 right behind us. So we're right on that right on that drop here. Another thing that can't be understated when talking about ice fishing for whitefish is the need for a good sonar unit. Many, many, many days being able to see the fish, to change up your presentation, uh, that makes all the difference when it comes to putting these things on the ice. See, I've got a couple of marks that are suspended way off bottom here. It would be my guess, they may be smelt, it's really hard to say. You can really tell though when a school of smelt comes by, there's no questioning it. And a lot of times, the Lakers and the Whiteys are mixed right in there. Oh, there's one right there, come on. Look at that, ho ho ho. Now see what happened there, I just had some fish come up, take a look at me. And they did not hit. Oh, maybe they will. Got him. Oh, yeah. There we go. There he is. We've been catching an awful lot of Lakers, so you never know. What is it? There it is. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, look at that. Got it on a small spoon. Now, I can guarantee you, I would not have caught that fish if it was... Whoa, almost lost him. Got him. I would not have caught that fish if it was not for that uh, sonar. I saw that fish come up. He looked at it, he wouldn't touch it. I started to pull it away. Boom, got it. All right, we're gonna keep that guy. I just got that one there on this little, uh, this one here is a crippled herring with a little uh, Trigger X egg on it actually. So just a little, again, in terms of presentations, little spoons, jigging wraps, that sort of thing fundamental for uh, for this type of fishing. <sighs> hey, what I'll do here is I'll just uh, slide in by the shed. You don't need a lot of tackle for whiteies. Uh, you can see here, all I've brought today, I'm not bringing a lot of gear. I can literally fit everything in a small this is a Tupperware container here. And in here, oh, I've got it packed solid, mind you, but in here you'll see I've got uh, you know, some, some jigs, a little blue fox jig, a bunch of small spoons, and various uh, soft plastics. Soft plastics is really key um, to get those finicky fish. So as well in here, if I had to dig down and pick something out that was important you'll notice that uh, we've got some fluorocarbon I've got six and eight pound fluorocarbon it's that's really really critical these fish are extremely finicky sometimes so we're using uh, braided line on the reels but fluorocarbon as a tip so we get a really good hook set yet we're still being as stealthy as possible so it doesn't take a lot of gear for whiteies uh, just a few fundamentals some spoons soft plastics for sure fluorocarbon Hey, that's, and of course, a good sonar, and you got just about everything you need to seriously get in the game of white fishing. All right, so here's an awesome presentation for white fish. Basically, really simple, little white tube, and what you can do is basically just rip it up and down in the water column, and then uh, when a whitey actually comes up, basically just slow her down and uh, dead stick it, and actually what's going to happen is the tails, is, the tails are going to flare up, and as soon as that white fish is going to see that, he's going to bite it instantly. So here's another nice whitefish guys. If you're looking to target a new species on the ice, consider whiteies because when, when they bite, it's, uh, 
it's awesome action. They bite one after another. So here's a few tips in uh, targeting uh, whiteies on the ice. <laughs> 